you see Aldi behind me? Kind of. See that right there? What's up, guys? So, I am in front of Audi. I usually shop at Vons, Target, Whole Foods, Stater Brothers. So, I want to try to see if I can find the items that I usually buy at Audi. Also, I'm trying to do my part because I know y'all have seen grocery prices are crazy. And I want to save money. I love to save money. Especially right now in the times that we're in where groceries for a family of four is like $1,300 a month on average. So, if I can save, that would be great. So, let's check it out. Let's go see if we can find some good items in here and save some money. Potatoes for like four thirty nine. Let me get to these. Wow, it's cheap. Potatoes. Let me get these instead. See if this one tastes like the Chick fil A. Uh, I think it's like the salsa ranch. We'll have to try it and see. They have like really healthy bread too. They have the keto bread at Whole Foods and Whole Grain. But I'm gonna get this one because the kids like honey wheat. They have all of the kombuchas, which is cool. I usually see those and I used to get these from Whole Foods too, the Ali Pop. They got little snack bites and stuff you can grab. Remember that manchego cheese I got for like eight bucks? Look at that. It's like bigger. <laughs> Definitely getting it. Now I'm trying to figure out what coffee to get from my husband. We usually get like an espresso type blend. I see they have this breakfast blend here. I think I'm gonna get this one. I know I've seen something similar at Trader Joe's. So if you like organic juice, they do have some options there. I'm gonna get some oatmeal. I'm gonna get the old fashioned ones. $3.89. Some of these. We usually get the name brand ones, but I'm gonna get these. I just bought some of this, but here is cheaper. I'm getting this one. Just for this. I usually get this one from Trader Joe's, but it doesn't come with all of these, so it'll be cool to try some of these. I'm gonna try this one. I usually get white rice, but I'm gonna try the brown rice. So my kids like pinto beans. I like black beans, so I'm just gonna get both. Oh, look how big it is. It's huge. Let me see the price. I think it's this price, but I'm not sure. They actually have the skipjack tuna, so I'm gonna get some of that too. This is usually like two or three dollars. I'm gonna get these because that's a pretty good deal. There's the water. They actually have spring water, so I'm gonna grab that. I like getting the carry gold butter, but they look like they have like a substitute. Countryside creamery, so we'll have to try it. Nice. But it comes with both. It's a really good deal. Greek yogurt for myself. Look at the price. Plain, non fat Greek yogurt. Look at the wine selection. This was one of my favorites the butter Chardonnay, $14.98. Let's see if they have. Malbec, which is what I usually tend to drink. They do. Okay. They have this brand here, which looks like this is their name brand, specially selected. And then they have this one. I've never tried either one of those. Looks like they do have their own brand of creamer as well, but then they also have like 
spin off your Bridgerton version. I'll try it. English toffee. I get the French vanilla. Yeah, I'm gonna get the French vanilla. It's cheaper. The almond milk and the kids' cereal. I'm gonna try this one. They also have oatmeal creamer, so I might try the oatmeal cookie next time. And then it's three fifty nine. Kids love broccoli with cheese, so I'm gonna grab a couple of things. My husband loves frozen burritos. My daughter likes these sweet potato bites. They're cheaper here. Usually I would get sausage patties from Whole Foods, but this bag is huge and it's cheaper, but it's pork. If it was chicken sausage or turkey sausage, I would get it. But I am gonna get the stuffed crust pizza. My kids and my husband love beef. Let me try this. Cheese stuffed crust. It doesn't have a price on it though. Yeah, I don't see a price, guys. But here's some of the other prices of other pizzas. They also have the strawberry banana blend that I get from Target, but it's cheaper. So they have snacks. I'm not going to get these today, but they do have name brand cookies and snacks, candy. So that's good to know for next time. And some of the name brand cereals, but not a lot. Usually I get vegan mayo because my body doesn't react that good to eggs, but I might get this one and try it. Um, it contains eggs. I have a lot of stuff in my basket, but let's see how much it costs. Yeah, right here. It's gonna be 128. Here's the receipt. You do have to bag your own groceries, but it's cool. Shout out to the cashier that let me use a quarter because I totally forgot. Y'all didn't already notice I saved a lot of money. I feel like something like that would have definitely cost me probably around $260, $300. I had literally a cart full of groceries and I even bought four of the reusable grocery bags so that next time when I come, I'm ready, I'm prepared. That was a cool experience. They didn't have vegan mayo. Everything else they had that I will eventually try. So that was really cool to see that they have options like that. Full disclosure, I have shopped at Aldi before, but it was like many years ago when my daughter was a baby. And this was before anyone ever went to Aldi. It used to be literally empty. Empty. I don't know if people were embarrassed because it was cheap, but nobody went in there and so I used to always shop in Aldi So I got familiar with the stuff that I know there So I did see a lot of the same stuff that used to be there many years ago But then I also saw some new stuff and like some name brand stuff That was pretty cool as well to see in there if you want to save money I would give this probably I would say it's like a 7 out of 10 because you're gonna save No, you may not find everything you're looking for but you can definitely put together a good meal you can come here probably regularly you still might have to pop in oh that was the one thing I didn't see skinless salmon so I do have to go to the regular grocery store to get that but that's not a deal breaker they did have salmon it just wasn't skinless the meat wasn't really that inexpensive so I wasn't really impressed with the meat although the chicken thighs were really cheap Aldi in my opinion is definitely somewhere where you can come shop for your family and do your grocery shopping for the week and get all of your necessities toiletries no they did have some toiletries but I would would not recommend that still go to Target go to Walmart if you want somewhere cheap or even the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree really really excited to come back here and to save money gosh like our grocery bill last month was like 14 or 1500 dollars coming here like even if it's once or twice out of the month will definitely help us save ladies you got to do your part if you are wife wifey or girlfriend and you're the one that's doing all the grocery shopping just 
try to come up with hacks to save money because it is getting crazy out there. I didn't realize we were spending so much on groceries, but yeah, it's gotta stop. Hopefully, you guys can join me on this journey of saving money as well. I'm about saving money. I'm a free girly. I'm a save money girly because I like to see my money in the bank and I like to use it in ways that are not wasteful. Like, I know we gotta eat, but I'm not trying to spend $10 on some bread. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Share the video. And if you got some other spots that you guys know of where you can save, let me know. Maybe.